Hello children, it's Auntie Rwandi again. Today we are in lesson 4 and we are going to discuss about friendship strengthens brothers. I'm sure you may remember what we learned last week about Esau and Jacob, right? What happened to them and how they got angry, not maybe not angry but they were uh, really hurt after what happened, right? Jacob was also not too happy with what happened, though he knows he cheated on Esau, right? So let's see what happened to them afterwards. Okay, let's take a Bible and turn to Genesis chapter 33. Let's read from verse 1 to 11. Jacob meets Esau. Jacob looked up and there was Esau coming with his 400 men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel and the two female servants. He put the female servants and their children in front, Leah and her children next and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He himself went on ahead and bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him. And they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with you? He asked. Jacob answered, They are the children God has graciously given your servant. Then the female servants and their children approached and bowed down. Next, Leah and her children came and bowed down. Last of all came Joseph and Rachel and they too bowed down. Esau asked, What's the meaning of all these flocks and herd I met? To find favour in your eyes, my lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have plenty. My brother, keep what you have for yourself. No, please, said Jacob. If I have found favor in your eyes, accept this gift from me. For to see your face is like seeing the face of God, now that you have received me favorably. Please accept the present that was brought to you. For God has been gracious to me and I all I have need. And because Jacob insisted, Esau accepted it. What a nice thing, right? Now see, last week we learnt about what Jacob did to Esau. He stole Esau's blessing. But you think God uh, just let Esau be? No, in this Bible verse it says that Esau was also blessed, right? He had lots of men and he was also blessed. Uh, maybe we are not too sure whether it was as same as Jacob, but Esau was also blessed a lot. And when he saw Jacob after a long time, he was very happy to see Jacob. Jacob didn't think that Esau will accept him like that, right? That's why he was so worried and he was just trying to uh, keep everyone safe because he didn't know what Esau would do to him because Esau was with a was with lot of people at that point. But when Esau saw Jacob, he was so happy to see the brother. He just came running to him. Even we are like that, right? When we see uh, some good friends, after if we see them after some time, imagine uh, when we have uh, school holidays, we tell everyone, oh, we will miss you and all that. And once we go home, uh, we anyway miss them, right? Once we get back to school, we are very happy to see our friends, aren't we? I'm sure we are. So it was the same thing for Esau and Jacob also because Esau was seeing Jacob after a lot of after like a long time. Then Jacob has a lot of children and then uh, he was surprised to see them. That's why Esau is asking who are these people with you? And then uh, when Jacob says that they are the children that God has blessed him, he was so happy to see that. Right? And then when Jacob wanted to offer something else, when Jacob offered him some of these things that he had, Jake, uh, Esau didn't want to accept it because he said, 
that's your things that that doesn't belong to me i don't want anything from you i'm happy to see you that was the only thing he said right so we have to make sure that we should not get angry or cheat or do anything with people that we love even if it is someone that we don't know we should not cheat on anybody right that is one message god is telling giving us and it's something that we have to practice in our day to day lives we should not cheat anybody we should not hurt anyone that's because as a child of god we should understand that everyone has their own ways of handling and doing things right and maybe we would see that someone else stealing some of the things that belong to us and we should not go and fight with them too if they want to have it just give it to them and let it go okay when you do that you find a lot of peace right auntie us auntie had also gone through things like that and when we give whatever that we have to another person we feel contented and if it is someone that who needs some kind of help or something to that effect when we give it out it gives us a lot of peace right so that's the peace that we want and that's the peace that god also wants to see in our lives if god is with us there's nothing that we lack i'm sure you remember the one that we discussed in the first lesson that lord is my shepherd and i lack nothing that's absolutely true and that's something that we have to practice every day in our lives if someone does something wrong to us make sure that we don't get angry with that person and that we take it in our lives every day we have to forgive and forget right that's what god wants us to do as a child of god we should not keep any grudge in our hearts we have to let things go that's how we have to live okay so the same thing happened here and is of us not angry at all with jacob he forgot the past and he forgave the brother and um, what jacob offered him it was not that he didn't want to have it but since jacob was pestering him to have the thing the stuff that he is giving him as a gift he accepted it but lord never forgot esau to lord blessed esau as well okay so that me that shows that even though we go through uh, troubled times and sometimes people may uh, hurt us but god always makes sure that he blesses each and every one of us if we live according to what jesus is telling the children so it's time for us to pray let's do the same thing that we have been doing for the past couple of weeks let's keep our hands together and close our eyes dear lord jesus thank you for giving us another day to learn about you and this time how isa and jacob uh, met each other and forgot the past likewise let me also be the same person uh, where we forgive and forget things uh, of those who does things uh, who does wrong to us make us not to keep them in our minds and take it forward and just help us to forget the things that other people are doing to us anything wrong but if they do something good to us help us to remember that as well help us to make be the person that you want us to be especially keeping these things in our minds and help us to be the right person and the kind person that you want us to be may it be at school may it be on the roads where we meet strangers if some person is in trouble or something to that effect just help us to be kind to everyone and make us the person that you want us to be god thank you for this day and thank you for making me another person who learned something new about what you want me to do in my life lord thank you so much i ask all this in your precious name amen okay so i'll see you next week children god bless you until then